guys, it's Coach Ro from RocioFlores.com and today's personal development topic is my favorite personal development books. Now this is different than the best personal development books, etc. because it's all about me and the books I like. Not that these aren't really good books, okay? But I just want to share five of the ones that are my favorite and uh, I'll talk a little bit about why they are. But uh, before I begin, I want to ask you guys to subscribe to my monthly newsletter. I only send it out once a month and in it I share the posts that I've done throughout the month, a little bit about what's going on in my life and a little bit to help you with your own personal journey. Plus, when you get the email, you're going to get a bunch of free downloads. So make sure that you get on there. I'm going to add the link to the comment section on the video, okay? So um, the first book is The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Piel, Norman Vincent Piel. I don't really know how to say his last name. but Man, this, I really like this book. So he writes it beautifully, first of all, which I think makes a big difference because I've read other personal development books where it's really very technical and some that are very personality. So like you don't really, there's no prose, there's no beauty to the writing and this one's written really beautifully and I really like that because it made it enjoyable to read. Also, he gives you so much information and he gives you practical steps and he really explains things and it's not a positive thinking in a very uh like magic kind of way like the secret um that's not a bad book but it's that one really is very basic versus this one giving you a whole lot of context plus it, there's a lot of talking about faith in it so um especially in the beginning this is one of the earlier books that i've read and um it really made a big difference for me because i was just still trying to get you know understanding when it came to faith and I was struggling with a lot of stuff, especially thinking, and this gave it to me in a way that I was going to be willing to process it. So it's a book that I really, really um, recommend. Um, I have like, I highlighted all of mine. Um, no longer are they negative, they are positive. No more are they defeated, they are victorious. They no longer hate, they have overcome resentment, and their hearts are filled with love. How pretty is that? <laughs> so I like to read books that are not just practical but will also be enjoyable because I switched from reading more like novels and stories to reading personal development and if you're coming into the personal development world personal development books are not the same as reading a storybook and you may not like that transition especially if you're somebody who's really into reading like the novels and the classics and all that so it's a good little switch now Another book that made a huge difference that I kind of wish I had put more emphasis on actually putting and applying the principles is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. So this is an awesome book and I actually took a college course where um, they basically taught us the same thing that this book has. So I don't know if the class came first or the book came first, but it was a psychology class where they basically taught the same things that this book teaches. And um, this is... It, uh, the way it's written is really nice, but it's also just very, very organized, very direct, very gives you such a good formula for a lot of our life. And before I had read this book, I had never thought about the way that I took action. You know, this was in high school. So like, I never thought about, you know, how do I relate to people and how do I organize my life and how do I make decisions and how do I create goals and how do I you know, how do I, I was just living, you know, I was just moving day in, day out. I wasn't thinking about anything and how it created an effect for the people around me or my life or anything like that. And so this book was the first time that I like thought about that. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. Like <laughs> there's, there's more to think of in the day. So it's a really good book. It's also one of these super, super, super like, like over 10 million sold. There, it's a this is a pretty old book, so it's probably way, sold way more right now. But it's, uh, like, you know, anybody who talks about personal development will at some point talk about this book. So I recommend reading it. They also have the teen version, which is a little simpler. Um, but it's a really good book. And um, another one that I really liked was The Tools. And um, to be quite honest, this isn't the same as this uh, these other books, right? It's, there, it's not as... Um, how do I say it? It's not as detailed or as grounded in techniques as these other books. It's really simple. That's what I liked about it. 
So I was having a really hard time with just getting certain things done. And I, um, it gave, it gives you, it literally t gives you five tools and it illustrates them, which is nice because I'm a visual learner and it just kind of, they're really easy to remember. And so while I don't even think of the name now, I do think when I'm making a decision, how will this look this? And I picture the little drawing and that's how I, it reminds me of the fact that I have this tool that I can use to get through this issue. Right. And so it's something that really, really, really gives you a very basic formula, a very basic pathway to take when you're having difficulties, which is the whole personal development field is just giving you tools to resources and tools and steps and ways for you to manage your life. And some books are going to work great for you and some works are not because some books are just not understanding what you're specifically going through. Some books are going to like, oh my God, they read your mind. They know exactly what you think and how you feel and everything, right? And some tools will just, whether you're one end or the other, they will just tell you tips that will help you very practically in your life. So I really like this one. Um, the next one is the Boundaries book. So I will finish that. Um, I have to still finish my reading journey on there. And this one, I've read it throughout the whole last year, and I didn't expect it to become such a handy book throughout the year um it is definitely something that was been, that i've been struggling for a long time and it's given me a lot to think about a lot to recognize a lot to pay attention to in my surroundings and i've definitely been tested and had to use the, the techniques and the information that it's given me and it works and it, a lot of the times you just have to it's almost like you just need permission to be able to do certain things you know if you've never been taught and it, the book makes actually really good uh uh, analogy for that it says you know if you grew up in a different planet and you come to a new planet where everything's different all the rules are different how people operate are different you would be expected to act differently it is expected for you to be confused for you to be not understanding social constructs and not understand how you're supposed to operate in the world and for a lot of us that grew up without those boundaries without being taught what it's like to live in a normal life you know in the world that is what it feels like. It's an alien experience. You walk into the world, you're like, well, wait a minute. People expect this and this and this, and you haven't been taught those tools. So this book really does give you like the framework for what healthy interactions are like, how to demand that healthiness in your life with the people who are already in your life, and honestly gives you the permission to go for it. Because I, I think a lot of us don't feel like we have permission to set boundaries in our lives, but we do. So it's a wonderful book. I'll finish the reading journey soon so I can post it for you guys. And then the last book I don't have because I let somebody borrow and I don't remember who it was. And it's one of my favorite books. Um, it's not even a personal development book per se. It's, uh, I took it in a class. So the class was like conflict resolution and management. And that was the reading for the class. And it's called The Journey of Socrates. It has nothing to do with Socrates. It has to do about a Russian dude and his life experience. And I think the book is supposed to be like a nonfiction book. But the stuff that happens in the book is pretty fiction sounding. But it, I remember t the whole experience was the class itself too. But the whole process of reading the book, you see this person and the changes that they've gone through. And it does make you think about your own life. And I really liked it. And it was a very big personal development style experience for me. So I also recommend that book because it was just such a good book in general. Like it's a really good book. Even my husband liked it. So I... Those are the five books that are my favorite and hopefully as I read more I get more favorites and I could just do like my 10 favorite books or my 20 favorite books etc. Because I have read some that I hated and obviously I won't share those with people um, unless I think they can actually help somebody because the information is like extremely suited to that person. Um, not all books are great books. You really do have to be kind of picky when it comes to the personal development field because there's like millions of self-help books if you look at my bookcase the entire bottom is filled with those and there are some that are great and some that suck but i got them because you know if you're really 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 caring about your growth and your development you're going to read and you're going to look for things that give you the information that you need so look for what helps you if you need something that's simple that is very to the point that's just not going to make you do a bunch of reading because you don't care for reading, but you care about the information. Something like The Tools is a really good book. It's very simple to get through. If you need direct information, if you need processes, and you need to organize your life to a T, 
Seven Habits is perfect. If you like reading and thinking and you like more of the process, The Power of Positive Thinking is a great book. And if you have more of a specific issue like boundary setting, I really recommend this one, especially because it also talks about faith. And I think that makes a really big difference with us. If uh, a lot of books don't talk about faith and maybe some of the concepts can be difficult to manage if you're not sure if they're okay. So this book kind of does both of them and allows you to understand that just because it's faith-based doesn't mean that it's not also science-based, right? So it, these are all really good books and I also recommend The Journey of Socrates. And let me know what your favorite books are. So comment them below. Maybe I could try out one of your books or maybe I have read some of them and I could give you some of my opinions on it. You could tell me if you read some of these books, what you thought about them. Were they helpful for you? Did you like them or did you not like them? And let me know that in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please share it with your friends and family. And you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Goodbye.